Hello guys, guys and gamers and welcome back to another video. Before we begin, I would love to remind you guys to please like and subscribe. If we hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year, we are halfway there, uh, I will do a live stream dissecting the game design behind the most disappointing game I have ever played. And also, if you want, you can comment down below. I really want to start a discussion with my video, so I would really appreciate that as well. But that said, let's get to the actual topic of this video, which is news droughts and video games. So imagine a game that you have been wanting for a very long time gets revealed and you're like, OK, this is really exciting. I can't wait to hear more about this game. And then months go by, and a few more months, and then a few more months, and you just hear like no information about it. Is this game still? Are they still making this game? What happened to it? Why have we not heard anything about this game? That happens very often. Recently, um, I wanted to make this video originally about uh, Splatoon. I was looking into like these Splatoon tutorials and how the level design tells you how to play the game and then I was thinking hey I should um, talk about Splatoon 3 instead when that comes out but we haven't heard anything really about it since reveal a few like one trailer and like two screenshots or something and the trailer didn't really reveal anything that exciting or new about the game anyway so maybe Maybe not, maybe save that until Splatoon 3 comes out. But then I started thinking, like, why Why do these big news droughts, why do they happen? And, like, I, I think it is, like, part of Nintendo's kind of marketing plan. A lot of these, like, especially, like, big games, they do have, like, a plan of how they uh, want to do marketing. And usually a lot of that marketing, including trailers and new uh, marketing images and screenshots, it is heavily weighed into the last few months before the game's reveal. And that is just because the closer the game is to reveal, the easier it is for people to get excited. Imagine like uh, getting a lot of trailers just when the reveal has happened and then nothing until release. That would feel a bit more weird, wouldn't it? So that, that obviously doesn't work. Then there's also like, maybe they're not ready. Maybe they're not ready to show the game yet. Development takes a long time and it is unfortunate how often these games kind of get revealed too soon. And this has happened with many games like Bayonetta 3, maybe a bit too soon. I know you want to, you know, hype up the fans like, don't worry, we are still making this very popular series and there is a new edition in this series being worked on at our game studio. This happens, yeah, you know, Bayonetta, uh, Hollow Knight Silk Song is another one. Wow, it is way too bright in here. Okay, that is a bit better. Um, yeah, uh, this happens way too much and then maybe something in development happens and they are suddenly like, yeah, we are not ready to showcase this game yet. We decided to add on something maybe a new feature that will make this a bit better. Maybe we were not completely happy with how the development is going on. Uh, maybe we don't want to show off the game, which is doing fine, but graphically it's not doing the best yet, you know, uh, in-game development. Usually when it comes like to these big games, like the graphics are one of the last things to really be fine-tuned. And that's why if you look at uh, gameplay from a few months ago from release to the actual release, the game can look a bit better and usually much better. So that is one thing. Also, making all of these trailers, making all of these marketing campaigns, it does take uh, you know a lot of time and a lot of effort. And usually it does take uh, quite a while before this gameplay footage that we, you know, shot for this trailer actually becomes a trailer. It's not like, hey, we finished this feature today, we can have a trailer of this next week. That's not a thing that happens, especially with, you know, major studios. Like, usually when you see a reveal trailer, that reveal trailer is like 
maybe six months old footage or something. That's the, you know, development of those trailers in itself does take a lot of, you know, time and money. So that is one thing. And yeah, it is um, just like the hype cycle and everything. It is good to center it around, you know, release because then you get all this social media buzz around it. Uh, people get talking about it and if people talk a lot about it on social media, other people will get interested in it, which, you know, gives them a lot more money in the end. So that is also... Uh, then, uh, kind, of, kind of finally, I don't have much to talk about this topic. Um, it's just Nintendo, especially in recent years, has kind of had this trend of uh, not showing too much at all, like not at all showing too much about the game because they know we are get, giving you a, another game in this popular franchise, you're gonna buy it anyway. And that, that yeah, sure. But there is also the aspect of, you know, kind of spoiling the experience. If the experience is spoiled too much, uh, the, you know, the experience of playing that game, it's not so fun anymore. And that also results in you talking about the game on social media. And that is good. You know, Nintendo does want, and other companies do want you talking about their games on social media because that is free marketing. So if they reveal too much and you kind of are spoiled of the experience, all the cool things that you can find in the game, all of the new uh, characters you can discover and talk to, uh, it gets boring. It gets boring and you might complain about it. Uh, okay, they didn't really do much I didn't know about. It's kind of boring. Uh, and that just gets reflected on just the attitude people have towards that game overall. So that's not really a good strategy either. So these new droughts happen because they're not ready to show the game yet. It takes time to make trailers and just marketing is usually very heavily in like favor of the last few months. But is this strategy like, has it ever been like really harmful? And if we look at some, you know, uh, games from Nintendo's history that have had like long news droughts, for example, Breath of the Wild one, and two also, but we can't really know the sales state of it yet. It's also having a lot of new strouts. Uh, Animal Crossing, uh, a lot of Pokemon games. And Pokemon Sword and Shield especially, they didn't reveal much at all about the game until, you know, it was released. And none of these games have really failed, and I do not think, like, uh, keeping the information to yourself about these games is, you know, in any way a bad thing. I think this is kind of a good... It is disappointing, you know, from a fan's perspective, I know. You know, you are very excited for this game. You want to talk about it. You want to hear all of these new things that are coming. And I would really... The thing I want to hear most about these is like kind of some release window. If it gets delayed, okay, sure, but like at least give me some information like when are you planning to give this product to us? Uh, that goes to the Splatoon and uh, Hollow Knight fandom especially. Like, yeah, I, I get it. I want to know the release date. Splatoon is set for this summer and H Hollow Knight is just whatever. I don't know. And it gets, you know, frustrating because we like these products, we care about them and we want more of these and it's just hard to get excited when there's really nothing to talk about. So it is a bit of a shame, but in the end, I do prefer, you know, getting like a big blowout of information once they are ready, once everything, once you are confident in your product so you can show it to people. I think it is much better than do drip for information and then maybe not have it in the game at all because you revealed it too soon and things, you know, change in development. So, I, I don't know. This is kind of a weird topic to talk about, but it's just, I, I see this happen so many times uh, when, like, games have no news 
for a while. This happens like every time a Pokemon game comes out. Maybe not this time because we just had so many Pokemon games, but it definitely has happened before. Like they get revealed in February and then we hear like nothing about them for like th uh, four months. And then we get like news and then people are like, oh, finally. The game is already coming in like November and now we hear about this, we should have had a trailer soon, but now this is just all part of like the marketing strategy and it's much more better to have those like small droughts and give the information when you are ready and confident and when everything is, you know, set in place and you're sure that things will go out this way. It's just a lot of reasons about in general. I think these new droughts, while they are, you know, a bit dull from a fan's perspective because you want to be excited for these. They are, in the end, usually beneficial from the content's perspective. And I haven't like seen a game fail because they have had a long news drought. If they have nothing going, well, live services are one. Live services are one. If they if the game is already out and you have no, uh, you know, no new information to give how the game will continue. That is bad. That is definitely bad. But now we are talking about uh, game news droughts that uh, happen from like reveal to release for live services. Yes, those are definitely bad. That is another topic in itself. Something like uh, Halo Infinite had just like six months where no new seasons were happening and that was just horrible for the fan base and they just gave up on the game. So that, that can be really bad. Yeah, that can definitely be bad. But news drafts for like uh, games that are coming out, I, I, I think that is just completely fine. As long as, you know, there is some sort of communication. Like, yes, we're still making it. Yes, it's not cancelled or anything. Just, uh, you know, a little something small every now and then wouldn't hurt. It's always nice to see. But yes, that is <laughs> my ramblings over. I have nothing else to add. But what, what do you think about news droughts? Uh, you probably won't like them, but let me know uh, in the comments below. What do you think about news droughts? And do you think there would be another more smarter solution uh, to their marketing plans or something? Yeah, let, let me know. I have nothing else to add now. Sorry about the lighting in this video. I'm using natural light and it's very cloudy today. Yeah, I will just see you guys next time. Bye bye.